Good morning, everybody. My name is Jerry Zukowski. Oh, that's so cringe. So for the last 30 days, I have woken up at 5 a.m. every single day to be able to follow, maintain, and stay consistent with my routine. Just so you can see, it is 5.05. Hopefully you can read that. 5.05 in the morning. I thought it'd be a good idea to take you through one of my full days of waking up at five in the morning, my whole morning routine, and the things that I've learned over the last 30 days. Oh, got some guch in my eye. So the absolute first thing that I do in the morning is I go into that room, I scan my little alarm clock thing, I get my morning drink, which is just a liquid IV, and 64 ounces ooh, of water. I sit in this chair, I get these vitamins, I do a little combination, and then once I do that, I sit here in my chair, I stare at the wall and listen to a podcast, a book, or some music, just to uh, wake up my brain and not immediately look at technology, even though I'm looking at technology right now, so this is kind of not ideal, but it is what it is, and then we will sit in this chair until about 5.30 and then we'll go into my bathroom, which I have my space heater and my bathroom heater on so I can warm my body fully uh, up to about, uh, you know, two, two to three degrees higher and we are good to go. An important thing that I've learned over the last 30 days, this is the first tip, is that to wake up, you need to warm your body up. If you are cold, you are going to not wake up and you are going to stay asleep and you are not going to want to move. So I'm going to get my sitting done and I will see you when I go into the bathroom for that heated experience. All right, so uh, it's about 5.35. Kind of felt like sitting for a little bit longer. I'm human. What do you want me to, what do you want me to say? Um, but we got space heater going on right now. We got the other fan going on right now and it gets hot in here man it feels like it's like 70 or 80 degrees in here one of these days I'm gonna take a thermometer and stick it in here and see how hot it gets in here but this is kinda like the last final wake up process for me I'll get in here do my business for about 10 minutes and then uh, I'll go outside set the plunge up come back in brush my teeth and then get in the plunge which I don't feel like doing this morning but God damn it, we're gonna do it. Ooh. All right. It's a very split decision between us. It's either I love it or I hate it. Is it hot in here? It's not hot in here, so. It says it's only been getting down to it's a 40 in the morning, but I'm pretty sure that's 40 right there. So there's a two differential on this, so it's actually 38. That's pretty much that. Flip off the pump, flip off the fan, flip off. Gotta get the tube out of there. Flip off the pump, flip off all of that, and then we just got this plunge right here. So I've learned that I can just attach this little wire thing and keeps the tubes and everything all nice. So just pull the cover off. And we got ourselves plunge right there. For some reason it's become a little bit cloudy over the last couple days. It usually happens within a week and a half of getting the plunge set up, but what are you going to do about it? Throw it on the floor there. And then yeah. Next step is to go brush our teeth and prepare to get chilly. And then after that, we need to take our nitric, drink our Celsius, start the car, get in the car, and go to the gym. It's currently 5.50. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a little longer in the bathroom, so it's a long track.
All right, so this is usually the point in which we make it or we break it. It is approximately 6.18. The car is started, got my bed made, got everything laid out. We just now have to finish the job. So we got the Celsius in here. We're back in the, uh, <laughs> the super fucking warm room. Uh, we finished up the plunge and immediately came inside, dried off. When I start to shiver, this is when I come back in. But the second thing that I really learned uh, in this whole thing is that you gotta have just a routine. You know, you gotta get up, you gotta know what you're doing, and you gotta time it all out. Because if you don't do that, then you're gonna be screwed, and you're gonna diddle off and diddy because you're tired, and you gotta have you gotta have it laid out. So from right now, we are going to put some deodorant on. We're gonna change. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for that part. Um, drink our Celsius, take our nitric, and we're gonna get in the car and drive to the gym. So we got hamstrings today, my adductors fucked up so I can't do any pressing movements, and I can't do RDL, so we're just gonna be doing like leg curls and stuff. I can't really do much more of anything else. So we're gonna do that in cardio, and then we're gonna come back here, and we're gonna shower. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, we're almost on time. We just gotta keep cranking, keep focused, and uh, we'll be good. Okay, so the overall objective and game plan here is we are just going to do six sets of leg curls. Um, Jeff Nippard has explained that, you know, one of the best things that you can do for muscle growth is the stretch, right? And that's why he believes that leg curls is probably one of the most optimal things if you can do it, uh, to do it. You start off with your legs in an already stretched position and then you just kind of crank it out. So we're gonna do six hard sets here enjoy our time, see if we can get a decent and good pump going and just kind of go from there. Um, if it turns out to be a good pump, great. If, uh, if not, at least we got in here and got it in. So I'm going to put my headphones on. We're going to focus for a bit, listen to some loud music and, uh, see if we can get a decent pump. So that might have been the most lackluster and boring hamstring workout that I have ever hit. Um, we did six sets of hamstring curls. I feel like I got a pump going on, but I'm not quite sure. My body is usually used to a lot more stimuli, but I don't want to mess up my adductor anymore. And when I was doing RDLs last time, it hurt. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know. So we'll call today an active rest day per se, but you know, it's not, we got in. We got it done. It's not terrible. It's not the best. But the point is to be consistent. And consistency and discipline doesn't necessarily mean output to the same degree every single day. It's just continuing the motion. And sometimes you got to go with the flow and just move with the motion. So we're going to go hit 30 minutes of cardio. And then we're going to go back, drink a coffee and a protein shake. All right. So shower's done. Gym's done. Cold plunge is done, deodorant's done. So another thing that I've really learned about this whole waking up at 5 a.m. thing, is what we talked about now. It's, uh, what, consistency, right? And then uh, warming up your body in the morning. So you wanna have a routine and you wanna be able to warm your body up in the morning. The third thing that has helped me wake up in the morning and do everything, I guess it's not really helped me learn, but it's helped me realize is that I deal with anxiety, a lot of other stuff a lot of people do. And with me, you know, I get anxious about things, so I don't put myself first and I go and do other shit that like I think I need to get done at that exact time. Um, this has helped me learn that, you know, the most important thing in life is to take care of yourself. You can't do the other shit that you are doing in your day-to-day -day life if you are not running on all cylinders. Sure, there are days where you're not feeling good, things that you're down, but if you can just do the, the, the basic things to be able to keep yourself in rhythm and going and to give yourself the respect to take care of yourself, you're going to go a long way. And waking up at 5 a.m. gives you plenty of time to take care of yourself.
And I love that because I'm about to go to work. I guess to drink my protein shake. Got to get it in. And on another day, if I was running a little late, I'd be like, no protein shake. But today I am drinking a little bit of protein. I'm going to be a little bit late. Am I advocating for you to show up to work late? You got to get your protein in? No, but this helps you realize the things that you need to do, that you need to get done, and how to format your schedule before you go to work or your things for the day to make sure you are getting the necessary nutrients, the necessary proteins, the necessary care for your body. So I'm going to drink this fucking water shake. Not a fan of them, but we're going to do it because of calorie reasons and we're going to head to work. So I'm going to go get some work done. So I will see you guys when I'm on my way to Chipotle to get my two meals for the day. So I'll see you then. All right, so some time has passed. We uh, just got back from, from work, did everything that I needed to do in the office, so we decided to come back here, shoot some videos for the company, and then take care of my own editing and my own videos. Um, we just finished eating some, some delicious Chipotle. It was, uh, we had a free entree, so we got the El Pastor this time. Typically it's about 23 bucks with the El Pastor, a dollar more typically than what we're usually used to, but sometimes, you know, I mean the same fucking thing every day. So I was like, you know, a little flavor, a little change up, probably the best. Uh, two little plugs. Tabasco has helped in immensely on this cut thus far. And this Sevia ginger root, the soda specifically, top notch. Huge fan of it. Sorry, I got some residual spice in my mouth from the food. Um, but yeah, we're just going to sit here. We're going to edit. Um, another downside, not a downside, not another, but just a downside to the old 5 a.m. thing is that right around this time, about 2 o'clock, you start getting kind of tired, you know? And that's just to be expected, you know? How many hours? 5 to 2 o'clock, it's more than 8 hours, right? So, makes sense. So... You know, just got to keep pushing forward. Hydration is number one to, you know, get past that lethargic feeling when you start getting pusher farther in the day. Um, I'm going to drink a bunch of water um, after having this soda. Um, and you pretty much want to cut caffeine off around like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock if you're doing this. That's what's worked the best for me. Um, but you want to make sure that when you're getting to that wind down period that you are able to fall asleep. So as the day progresses forward... Um, we'll check back in and kind of see what's next within my routine. Um, pretty much going to work on some video stuff for the next two hours. Uh, and I think we're going to play some Helldivers 2 with the Brosif. Um, we'll eat again. So yeah, I'll tune back in with you guys when I eat <clears throat> at that time. And we'll kind of go over what we're doing. And then it'll lead us to the bath time night routine before bed. So yeah. Hope you're enjoying your day, and uh, I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'll see you then. All right, we're on the Chipotle grind now. Second meal, coming in hot, all prepared, all good to go, accompanied by the Tabasco hot sauce. Um, we're chilling out now, playing a little Hell Divers, you know, getting ready, uh, kind of winding down. Um, we're gonna play for about another 30 minutes to an hour. It's about 6:30 right now. Around 8 o'clock is when we're going to get the bath ready to go. It takes about 20 minutes. Um, and that's when we'll do our whole night routine. Um, I can go over that uh, when we get closer to that period. But that's just pretty much going to be refilling the bottle, uh, kind of laying out the towel for tomorrow, and then getting ready into the plunge. Um, but yeah, the plunge, not the plunge, the hot bath is probably the most important part in this entire setup just because in order to be able to fall asleep early enough to wake up at five, it's good to just decrease your core temperature as quickly, not even really core, just your outside temperature by getting in the bath, getting out, immediately getting into bed and just passing out. So nine o'clock is the pet is the cutoff time, the bedtime. So we're just gonna eat our food, enjoy a little bit more time of some games. We'll probably watch some Kill Tony or something like that as we get closer. And then I will see you guys when the bath is ready to go. Ooh, can you see me? It's a little bit dark in here. And to tie off the whole evening, we got the bath going. And that's pretty much it, man. So right around this time, 
This is actually a lot earlier than normal than when I typically, you know, I can't, I can't, you can't see nothing in here. We gotta, we gotta peek out through here, my man. So, it's about 8.04 right now. I typically go to bed a little bit later than this. Like, nine's usually when it's gonna go, but I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna do the sauna, not the sauna, I can't speak. I'm tired, okay, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I got up at 5 a.m., all right? Um, the bath I'm gonna do, uh, you know, we started a little bit earlier, but we're gonna head in there, limit our exposure to overall light and digi digital devices, and uh, lay down into it. So overall, the most important things about waking up at 5 a.m. that I've learned is one, when you wake up, you gotta warm your body, and you wanna go to bed, you wanna cool your body, so you must remember that. That will help you so much, okay? Next thing is routine. You need a routine in the morning. When you wake up, you have to have a reason to get out of bed and stuff that you need to get done before you leave the house so that you take care of yourself. It's like 2A, you have to take care of yourself. It's the one thing it's taught me. You gotta take care of yourself, make sure that you know, you're know you fueling your Ferrari before you go out and take on the bullshit and stress of the world, right? And then the last thing, like I said, just taking a bath at night, going to sleep. Number three is just sleep. If you wanna get it done, you gotta to go to bed earlier. You just gotta deal with it and go to bed earlier. But overall, it's changed my life. It's made my productivity, my mental state, my drive for what I do and what I love just overall stronger. Because, I don't know, getting stuff done early in the morning, getting the gym done, coming back, getting the task done of work, and then after that, just getting the relaxation, or I usually have practice, we've had a bye week, so, you know, I'll pra practice for a band, band, and band. Um, but if not just relaxing and keeping it to yourself, but just, if you decide to go down this route, take the things that I, I talked about and mentioned, I'm doing this uh, with a very close friend of mine as well, so, we're kind of bouncing this back and forth, and those are pretty much the three things that have stayed consistent uh, between us both going through this and the evidence, anecdotal evidence that we've accumulated for ourselves. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and a phenomenal evening, because it's night outside. And yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.